I'm Pete Robottom, a landscape photographer from Lancashire. In 2018, I won the UK Landscape Photographer of the Year. I entered an image from the West Highlands of Scotland. I'd gone out for sunrise. I was going to go looking for pools of water, um, which when they freeze, you get these lovely rings radiating from the outside. I never shot a sunrise that morning. I didn't get my pools of water, but um, I did get an image which basically changed my life. Kojima Productions are given the opportunity to come down here today and basically explore what they've got, a very unique feature within the game Death Stranding called Photo Mode. You can explore some absolutely breathtaking landscapes. You can stop wherever you like and basically take photos. It is almost real. And for me, it's something I could actually use to teach people ideas about framing, composition, lighting, you're able to do everything, you're able to move around, you're able to create composition, just like you would do if you were outside. I love being out in nature in the landscape. This particular area we're in now, fantastic rolling hills, unusual trees, lots of different textures and colours. Okay, so we've set up down here, found a great subject here. There's a dead old tree, loads of gnarly, detail in it and something which you would expect to find in Death Stranding. We've got the camera in vertical or portrait mode to make sure we get all the tree in and I've cropped in quite tightly with the path running through the scene but there's another area of trees which are over framing the path. And I've got down low to give that extra bit of perspective needed in these shots. So this um, little area on the side of a river here, we've got a really interesting gnarly grey rock, which I think would make a nice image. And we've got some cliffs off to the background, but I think they're a little bit distracting. So all we'll do is just bring it around so they're gone. So the rock's the main centre of uh, attention now. But if you look at the screen, the one problem here is that you've got You've got the river coming in and out to, the, out to the sea there, but this rock just blends into everything else. It isn't separated from anything else and it just, it just needs something a little more to make the picture better. So all I'm going to do is just raise the perspective of the camera. And so we talked about going down low, but it's also sometimes nice to go up high. And just by doing that now, we've completely changed that picture. So we've got this lovely rock which is separated now from the landscape. You get the sea to see the sea further out and the horizon line as well. And the rock actually becomes more in the picture to itself. Just by doing that little perspective alteration, we've really changed the entire of the picture there. As a landscape photographer, uh, you can often find yourself doing a lot of walking through the landscapes to find something that you want to shoot. Don't be tempted to just try and take pictures of the first thing you see. You're gonna get the best shots if you walk and do a lot of exploring and traveling within the game and find some amazing scenes to take pictures of. Right, so I've got another scene ahead here, which is gonna require quite a lot of uh, a different approach. The reason being, we're shooting off further into the distance. And if I was to go too low into the shot, all I'm going to get is a load of plants in front of me and they're actually going to be blocking off the bits that we want to see, which in this case is the radio mast and the little barn in the distance. So what I'm actually going to have to do is just raise the tripod up quite a bit. I've also changed its lenses onto a 70 to 200 zoom, which in the game is really easy to do because you can zoom out from 10 millimeters up to a thousand. So I, can, I can't literally carry that kind of kit because it doesn't exist. But in the game, you've got so much scope to basically do this without having the added hassle of changing lenses. I 
think where I am today, there's a lot of similarities between Death Stranded, really wide expanse of very rolling hills, lots of different textures, lots of different colours. Like in the game, you can see, you know, as far as you can see right out to the horizon. It makes you want to go and walk through it and explore. I've been shooting landscapes for around 20 years now. Connecting the process with what you do in the game to what I do outside. And it's actually very similar. Yeah, I'm always looking for new ways to explore the art of landscape photography. This is a very unusual one, but is already proved to be a, a very worthwhile one. Oh, so